Cam Canarella will start things here this weekend. The first time these teams have met in Durham since 2016. And off we go, Canarella fouling the first pitch back. It's first year together a season ago. Breaking ball to the left side. It's Miller who can't make the play. And a Duke team that's the best defensive team in the ACC and fifth nationally. That one pops away from Stone, a wild pitch. And Canarella speeding around second. Driven in another runner. <laughs> that one out toward right center field. Gracia into the gap for the out. And Canarella taking an aggressive 90. And he's at third with one down. That uh, registers as an out, but advances the runner. And first pitch swinging, a chopper toward third. Miller can't make the play. It's a fair ball. And Clemson has the lead in the first. Play. They do give uh, a hit. And of course, the RBI for the one to nothing lead. Three and two on the Clemson backstop. And he goes around, and that retires the side. Another payoff on Miller, and that is ball four. So you mentioned the patience of this Duke team. Base hits for Stone in that two game series against Ryder. And he gives the Blue Devils a second base runner here, two men on with one man out. That one out toward right center field and hit well for Bravo. This ball's got a chance to go. Adios! The third of the year for Bravo and the Blue Devils, a first inning lead. Here's the replay up in the strike zone, outer half of the plate, and Bravo showing some mature opposite field power there. We talked about mature lineups and upperclassmen and grad transfers, and Bravo is in that category and just able to get to that pitch that was up in the strike zone and drive it. But he was 5 for 11 in the series against Wake Forest last weekend in Winston-Salem, but he's down on strikes here for the second out of the inning. Uh, and maybe even get to double figures. That wouldn't surprise anybody. OB to the left side. Shufo, the shortstop, has to hurry the throw, gets his man, and ends the inning. Played four years at Georgetown. And down on strikes here, the second of the night for Santucci. The 2-2 on Hindelider. Swing and a miss. He got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Santucci. His fifth start of the year, just his eighth game. Out to left field. Winslow tested for the first time tonight and puts it away to put the Tigers away in the second. Gave up the three-run home run to Logan Bravo, which is the difference so far. And that one into center field. A leadoff hit for Winslow. And Krusen swings and misses. That one pops away from Obertop. He'll throw to second and throws it away. But no advance. And ball four. Second walk issued by Gordon. The fastball here, maybe inside. No, nope. the off-speed got him. That one pops away, and a wild pitch allows both runners to advance. Tough take for Miller, now the 2-2. Slow roller to the left side. Shufo gobbles it up and throws him out. What a job by Gordon to wiggle off the hook in the second. This young man to come in and win a starting spot at second base is really, really impressive. Santucci back to the breaking ball. Another strikeout, his fifth of the game. Uh, but just seeing that 94-95 coming out of the left side is important. Nasty pitch there. Canarella chased the ball. Decade or so. Santucci another swing and a miss. Seven strikeouts for the Friday night left-hander for the Blue Devils. He strikes out the side in order in the third. You just got to throw strikes. And he does here. Great Stone job. Down looking. Great fastball at the knees, outside part of the plate. Fourth strikeout for the right-hander. Faces Logan Bravo, who hammers one down the left field line. Did he do it again? He did! Second of the game for Bravo. And Duke up 4-1. to one. The first time around, the fastball was up and out. That time he goes to the breaking pitch, and he hangs it up and out, and Bravo just able to pull it to left field and get enough of it. Up the middle and through, a base hit. Good piece of hitting there by Gracia, not trying to do too much with the full count offering. And look at Gracia trying to be aggressive, and he will be thrown out. To make the play here, ball hits in front of the plate, keeps it in front of him with proper technique, and then just throws an absolute dart. Um, you know, and so if, if that ball hits the plate itself, it's, it's a different story, potentially. 
from Duke there. To right field, and that is down in front of Mathis and the Blue Devils, a little two-out rally here. Be Saturday and Sunday, potentially. Cruson out to left field. Taylor giving chase into the corner and runs it down. What a play by Taylor to keep runs off the board again. Down the third baseline. Out to center field and hit well by Wright. Obi retreating, still going, and this ball's gone. To dead center for Blake Wright, his sixth home run of the season. And Clemson cuts the lead in half. This is an absolute missile to center field. And you talk about, we call him Uncle Mo, and that being momentum as that breaking pitch just stayed up a bit too high. And ball four to Mathis. Fantucci's first walk. To make him worry about you over at first base, and he throws that one to the backstop. How important it is to get ahead as Santucci misses with four straight. He's fallen behind every hitter so far in the fourth inning that they've made here. Now, Santucci has helped Clemson by Stone not throwing pitches in the strike zone. Then you've got to bear down and, and get it done. And he does. There's another breaking ball for strike three. You don't need to watch the football. The kicker will tell you if he made it right away. 2-2, two -two, another strikeout for Santucci. His third game this year with 10 or more strikeouts. One save and a 3-0 and record for Clemson last year, over 17 appearances. And that's ball four inside. Man, play wherever you want to play. 2-1, right over the second baseman's head. And speeding around second goes Morris. They're at the corners with one out for Duke. And Stone nubs one to third. They'll get the out at first. The guy coming up. Well, <laughs> they're going to intentionally pass Bravo, which is probably the right play. Allen to the plate. Got him to end the inning. A big pitch by the sophomore. And that's ball four. Really good take there by Canarello on a good breaking ball. High-powered Demon Deacon offense, but he gets another strikeout, his 11th. To the right side, Morris out, Gracia is in. It's Gracia to end the inning. Winslow out toward left center, hit well. Catalaria has no room, it's gone. Winslow's three for three in his first ACC home run gives Duke a three-run lead. Obviously, it is very early in the season, but this freshman has been impressive. We talked about his versatility defensively, being able to spell Stone behind the plate as a catcher, athletic enough to play left field, and then obviously what he's done at the plate. And that hit him. To left field, and the Blue Devils have two on with two out. Blue Devils, as you can see there, have struggled tonight with runners in scoring position, just one for six, and make it one for seven as Taylor ends the inning. Reed does his job, you know, whatever, um, and just come on in and, and hopefully throw strikes. <laughs> Santucci tonight, which was a common occurrence as Brooks with a very wild pitch there and a runner in scoring position with one out. To the right side, should be playable for Gracia, who is there, and Prooks with a scoreless sixth inning. Really implemented the last couple of years. There's ball four, and Gracia keeps the inning alive to get to the big leagues. 2-2 two -two on Obi. he comes up empty, and the Blue Devils do as well. Implemented by the Duke defense again. And he beats the shift here as Bassetta fillets one to left, and the leadoff man on for the Tigers. Tournament appearances, obviously. Runner goes, pitches low, and that's ball four. Clemson, South Carolina being in the 2-2. Two -two. Got him. To the right side and caught by Bravo to end the inning. Reed with the payoff pitch and lost him. Got him with a fastball. 
Earlier, 16 appearances and a couple of starts. He makes quick work of Clark here. Another good fastball that runner goes, swing and a miss, and the side is retired. And that turned out to be accurate. Bielinson's first walk. And a swing and a miss here. So Bielinson comes all the way back. The 2 2. Out to left field, Albright is there. And the Blue Devils with the lead through seven and a half. And Miller, a late swing there. Another fastball at 93, and Titsworth strikes out the first man he faces. Up the middle, the second baseman, Purify there. Who spikes that one. Hindelider can't pick it up. And now Stone nearly thrown out as he rounded the base towards second. Stone not going, and Bravo swinging and missing at a high fastball. Now the one, two. That's on the inside corner, strike three. Tigers need base runners, and that's a good start. Bassetta with a single to center. Just get the first out of the ninth inning. And he does, via swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. And the Tigers do get the tying run to the plate. What an at-bat by Will Taylor. To right field, hit fairly well. Gracia into the corner, it's foul. Payoff pitch. And the bases are loaded for Clemson in the ninth. To the right side, behind the bag, it's Bravo. Game one belongs to the Blue Devils.